Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to adjust the carburetors with a carpenter's pencil. Stay tuned and see how we do that. Before we get into using the pencil to adjust the carburetors, there's something we need to do first. We need to start somewhere. Well, let's start with the idle mixture. And for this engine, the manual says one turn on the idle mixture. So the idle mixture screw is right here. So we'll turn it all the way in. I usually keep track of where it is to begin with in case it's had some other bit of adjustment done to it. I turn it all the way in, but very gently seat it because I don't want to damage the needle in the seat. Then I'll put a little mark that lines up with the slot of the screwdriver. Now I will go out, there's a half a turn out and a full turn out. So there's my base adjustment. Oh, I didn't quite make it to the mark. There we go. That's my base adjustment for that carburetor. And of course I will follow and do the other one as well. Now, since I've discovered this easy method to do this in the field, I also found out that there's really good quality carpenter's pencils and not such great quality carpenter pencils. So these ones, the thickness is 0.285 in inches. And the thickness on the nice expensive one is 300 thousandths of an inch. So if I'm going to use the thicker, the professional, really good quality pencil, uh, there's a change that I have to make. Um, and um, anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and use these ones right here at two inches and 85. So now we get to the part where you use the pencil. As you can see, I have a white pencil here, but that's, we'll go over that after and I'll explain the difference. So this one I've pre-adjusted already, pre-video, and I'm using it as a feeler strip or a feeler gauge in there. So I get the feel for it of how much it takes to slide it in and out, just like when you gap a spark plug. We're just trying to make it the same on the other one. So I move to the other side and I go to slide it in and it, I'd have to, for, well, I could, but I'm gonna have to force it to go in. So I'm gonna stop. I need to make the slide go up. And to do that, I need to tighten this clockwise. It's pretty close. So I think I'm only gonna go one flat. And let's check again. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh the way I feel this and go to this one. It's identical. I'm happy with that. So now, what have we done? We've done our base idle screw mixture adjustment, and we've done our idle adjustment, idle speed adjustment for the slides. Okay, now we'll move along, and I'll show you how to use the pencil to synchronize the slides. So now let's move into how am I going to synchronize the slides mechanically. So it helps if you have an assistant for this. So you can open the throttle. And I open it about the height of the width of the pencil. Okay, that's how high. It doesn't have to be exact, but roughly the same. Okay, now what we're gonna do, and make sure the throttle's locked so it doesn't creep back. So I'm gonna move the camera and I'm gonna, no, actually I'm gonna keep going here. Uh, I'm going to take the pencil and the shape of it right in here matches in the shape here so it cradles it right there and I'm going to slide it in along the bottom of the slide until it touches the needle and it'll sit there all by itself. If you open the carburetor way more it won't stay there by itself and there's no need to do it. I do it this way all the time. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So open it to about the width of the pencil, and then we're gonna fit it in between, on rest in there, slide it in, and when it touches, we're all set. I'm gonna reposition the camera and I'll show you what the end goal is. So as you can see, I have a pencil on each carburetor slid in exactly the same way. Now let me reposition the camera once more and then we'll really see what this is all about. 
So I put both the pencils in. They're in position exactly where they need to be. And this one, the closest one, is higher than the one in the back. So this end of it is higher, which means that end of it must be lower. So what do I need to do? I need to raise the slide. So I've loosened the adjusting nut off on the top and I'm going to adjust it. Oops, wrong way. Until it's the same. There we go. Now what I'll do at this point is I will take the pencils out, close the carburetors, and then do it, set it up again and see where I ended up. So as you can see, I've got the pencils both reinserted. Looks like there's only one, but they're perfectly parallel. So mechanically, I'm happy that both of the slides are in the same position. So let's uh, carry on. There's one more thing that we need to check yet. Stand by. So there's my position with the pencil removed, back to idle. Well, that was nice. Did you hear them both click at exactly the same time? All right, so let me reposition the camera here because this is very important. So here we are back up top. And of course the boot is moved out of the way so that we can see what we're doing here. I'm gonna put my thumb on the slide like I did before so the slide can't move. And I'm gonna grasp the cable and I want to see that free play there. That's what I want. Okay, so that's excellent. And then there's actually one more thing that we need to make sure is right. Let me reposition the camera for that one. So with certain throttle controls, we need to make sure that when it's at wide open position, so we're going to move it to wide open position right there, And on some throttles, what can happen is that you can pull on that thing really, really hard. So when you get near the end of the runway and the trees are coming and you're uh, not really climbing that well, you're really gonna be pulling hard on the throttle at wide open throttle. If it doesn't have a stop or something to limit it, what will happen is it will pull on the slide all the way up and it can break the cable. So what we want to do is now, this throttle system is set at wide open throttle, it's locked, and I'm gonna reach inside, and I can still, I don't know if you hear the noise, but I can still move the slide up a little bit. So that means that the throttle cable isn't pulling for all it's worth on the slide, and the slide can't go up any further. So. That's uh, critically important as far as I'm concerned. We don't want to have any throttle cables break. So depending upon what type of throttle system you have, you should check that and make sure that you have some up movement so that you're not pulling the bead off of the end of the throttle cable or break the cable or who knows what in the throttle system. Well, as promised, now let's talk about these pencils. These are no-name cheapies. Uh, they're 285 thousandths of an inch thick versus the professional version that I guess a carpenter would use, 300 thousandths thick. What's the difference? Only 15 thou, but it does make a difference. With the white one, the idle should be right about bang on 2,000 RPM. With the professional one that's 15 thou thicker, probably about 2,400 RPM. So I generally find when I use this one that I have to take about a half a turn off of the idle speed screw on each carburetor. Now, you have to mark it and find some way that you take exactly the same amount off each one or it won't work correctly, it'll be out. Um, now, every engine that I ship out goes with pencils, two pencils, two of these pencils actually, because there's no compensation for the idle, it should be 2,000. And uh, all the, uh, almost every engine that I do, I run here in the shop. And I've done the uh, idle speed and the mixture and it's synchronized. However, of course, I can't synchronize the slides because the cable is attached to the airplane. So 
henceforth these go with it and if there's an issue that somehow it was way out before uh, or we just want to check it it's very easy for the uh, the owner installer of the engine on the aircraft to do it so anyway that's how i do it it's not perfect but it sure works to get it back to ground zero when you have no idea where any of it actually really is so anyway thank you very much for spending time and watching and uh like share subscribe tell your friends thanks a lot for watching bye now